If you take a video camera, plug it into a TV and point them at each other, you make a loop. But if you stand in the middle of the two, you might catch a glimpse of the world where Disappearing Oliver once lived. Disappearing Oliver was known for one thing, and that was disappearing. His companion, which he took with him everywhere, was a Sota Sufusa. That is, he was convinced a Sota could always be found by his side. In truth, Dr. Sufusa had myriad errands to run and was usually miles away. He simply had a knack for getting back to his spot before anybody looked for him. Betwixt disappearances, Oliver's favourite pastime was to read various entries on the new terminals in his basement so as to glean some definitive satisfaction as to which of those great interminable wars sitting in the archives might qualify as the longest. He never reached a certain conclusion to his inquiry, constantly interrupted as he was by vagrant cosmic interference and the more common muterras that bemoaned any user of the machines. The interference was something of a mystery to Oliver. His instinct connected these ebbs in the flow of his noisy static world with his own sporadic disappearances. He had learned from his aforementioned companion of many years that there existed a serendipitous group waiting in the ether beyond his doors, who referred to themselves as the ecstatic messieurs. If anyone was to help, Suffuser asserted, it would have to be them. So he packed his pockets and set out on a cold breakfast of backgammon and green lettuce, and he wasn't long walking in the haze before he chanced upon a huddling drove of gar equally lost. From the depths of these roaming acolytes emerged a figure in grey. He was shorter than the herd, and his outline formed quite after the rest of him came into view. Introducing himself as Kuiper Breadbeard, he then explained between bromide slurs that the sea of feet and hide surrounding them was the selfsame ecstatic messers at this Asoto let slip a bullfrog squint, the one that had gotten him into trouble so many times in the past. You look at us like we're packets of crisps you've decided you don't like the flavor of, said one of the gal. Tell me about your future. I want to know everything, demanded Kuiper of his new acquaintance. Um, I don't know what to tell you. I don't interface very well with the corporeal. Oliver pleaded. After a long pause the man in grey produced a bucket of variegated fluorescent paint. Well. Drink this, he belched. What is it? Asked Oliver. Hypnostalgy, replied a rearward mammal. Carefully, disappearing Oliver received the Ron seal, and gave thanks. Not wanting to seem ungrateful, he. Lifted the can to take a sip. The odor seemed very unpleasant to him, but on the glib advice of a soda sufusa, he thought it best and downed the lot in one go. Now, tell me your name. My name is Lesmore Clopin. This is my assistant a priori sufusa. We come from a long line of people who failed to take proper care of themselves. I work for the Met Office. By this point, of course, he was all paint and no Oliver. We only came to collect our own, we'll be moving in the direction of those further troughs, noted one of the gaur, as the rest began to travel. One day you will get what you wish for and then you will understand. They hemmed and swayed, and then he began to broaden, he got broader and broader and his legs got really long, till finally with a sudden pop the brow-beaten eggshell of a man dangled through some portal and onto a conveniently placed pedestal, and he spake thus, Lo, weary travelers, I have gone into the beyond and retrieved me unknowable knowledge. I have learned how to moonwalk. I have learned Shun Goku Satsu. I have learned how to do the beat and the lyrics at the same time. And the brow-beaten eggshell conceived heaven to be a place where he could sit down at a table and be taught things. And God did punish him, and made him for eternity construct a puzzle, never-ending, always twilight, smelling like it's just stopped raining on tarmac on a hot day. Wet socks, shoes slightly too tight, 